What's good? We back. Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. And talking about Hakeem Vallis. Hopefully I'm saying his name out right. <laughs> it's late. It's late. Um, second year tight end out of Monmouth University. Um, you know, played with the Arizona Cardinals last year. And the Arizona Cardinals actually had another good tight end who had a couple of good games last year. And I thought it was Vallis, but it wasn't. I can't remember that guy's name. But um, he had a couple good games. I remember him on a fan duel. Lighten it up, but um, Hakeem Vallis, hopefully I'm saying his name right, um, expecting his first child as well, um, 6'5", and um, had two great touchdowns today or yesterday in a joint practice with the Giants, uh, whereas uh, Luke Wilson ain't making a lot of noise, and Michael Roberts is dealing with an injury, so he it look like he's just disappointing right now. And Vallis, man, you know, not only may he make the team, you know what I'm saying, I'll be the first to say it sounds like my – prediction was wrong about Michael Roberts taking his job and snatching away from Luke Wilson. It ain't like Luke Wilson won the job neither, but Hakeem Vallis, man, might not only make this team. He may be your starting tight end this year. That's how pre- impressive he's looking so far. You know, he may be the starting tight end at some point this year. 6'5", can move, can catch. I'm not 100% sure about his blocking, but second year, He's 25 years old. I think he had a red shirt year at Mammoth. And um he's just impressive, man. He got the height. He got the ball. He got the ball hit. He got the ball handling ability as far as the, the catching the ball, excuse me. Like I said, it's late. Um and um, you know, and, and the route running must be good enough. Cause he's making a lot of noise. He was repping with the first team yesterday with the joint second joint practice with the Giants. You know, and he getting that type of look when, you know, Luke Wilson ain't grabbing the job. And Michael Roberts ain't grabbing a job, whatever it may be. With him, I, I'm hearing it's an injury. He fighting through it because he came in in phenomenal shape. You know, it's a, a, a dude that I think was an undrafted free agent, you know, coming out of college, whatever it may be. You know, and that's the scouting department, man. That's the type of fines you got to have, Bob Quinn. That's the type of guys that Martin Mayhew didn't hit on, you know. Martin Mayhew hit on the say, se- Hey, I'm going to say you this. Martin Mayhew hit in the sixth round more than he ever hit in the second round. I believe with Willie Young and with um, um, Quadre Diggs. Both of them six-round picks is probably better than any second-round pick he had other than Darius Slay. You know? But he did have a great undrafted free agent rookie and Ladarius Waddle. He just couldn't stay healthy he with the with the Patriots. I hope they ain't hoping on him starting all year by getting rid of uh, Cameron Fleming and putting their faith in, in Ladarius uh, Waddle or whatever his name is. He can ball, but he often injured. But the Lions finding uh, Vallis just shows me that their scouting department is improved. You know, finding finding guys. Did they miss the boat on a few guys last year? Yeah, Kareem Hunt, Alvin Kamara. You know, they missed the boat on a few guys as far as running back. But if they hit on Kerryon Johnson, they continue to hit on guys like Vallis. You know what I'm saying? They could try, continue to hit on guys or if they can hit on guys like Devin Kennard. You know, if they can hit on guys like Christian Jones, they can hit on guys like Deshaun Shedd and other undrafted uh, rookies they got coming in. T.O. Redden, you know, they hitting on him. You know, they can in- continue to find these guys. They may be build- building in the Detroit way more than the New England way. Or just as the New England way. But uh, Vallis, man, he's he impressed me in the Raider game. You know? And he he's impressing people in practice now to get with first team reps now. That shows you that the Lions don't care. They're not paying Luke Wilson a hell of a lot of money. They don't care if he across the water or across the bridge in Ontario. Michael Roberts, they don't care if they drafted him in the fourth or fifth round. The best player going to play, you know, at the tight end position. And Akeem Vallis is balling. And he got a kid on the way. He motivated. He hungry. He hungry. And that's what you like to see, man. And I heard um, a little nugget. I could announce this earlier, but I didn't. Um, or yesterday. That um, Graham Glasgow kind of. Walk through and practice today, man. So I don't know how his injury might not be that serious. So uh, if he walked through and practice today, um, just did walk through drills, he might be okay, man. But he lined up at guard and walk throughs, and uh, Ragnar lined up at center. So you know, stuff about to get trilled and real around here, man. But a shout out to King Vallis, man. Um, keep balling, you know. Um, Showing why Mama's University is mom uh, is monumentous, mental or whatever. Excuse me. And uh, why a mid major or smaller school, man? Show them you can ball out. Definitely appreciate everybody for rocking with us, man. Make sure you check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All that information is in the description. 
Much blessings to all the brothers, man. Much blessings to everybody that's uh, sharing the videos on social media, screenshotting, whatever you're doing, man. I definitely appreciate it. Screen recording, though. Um, like I said, man, we're still waiting to monetize, man. Um, I've been uh, good since January, June 16th, so hopefully any day now I'll get a... Uh, um, to go ahead and start uh, uh, making money and uh, open up the donations and stuff of that nature. But I appreciate your guys. We 